Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. I'm working here with Liberty. You can hardly see her, but we're doing some couch time. Um, I'm going to be inviting her up on the couch and then proofing the off command. And then I'm also going to be giving her some affection and getting her excited because she tends to use her mouth a little bit. And then I'll be proofing the out command. Out means close your mouth and keep your teeth off of me. It's not appropriate. I don't want that. So here we go. Come on, girl. Break. All right. Come on, girl. Up. Good girl. Let's go. I'm going to help her up. She's still, she's still a little small fry and has a hard time getting up there. But when she gets up there, I'm going to give her start giving her some affection. Hey, girl. Yes. That's a good girl. And once she gets up here, she does not want to get off, I can assure you. Um, she's just loving this. So let's see if I can get her all riled up. Shine like a good girl. Shine like a good girl. So I'm going to just be a little playful with her. Right? Out. And she's starting to grab her leash a little bit. So I just said out and she let go of the leash. So now I'm done with her, right? So, all right, off, off, good, place. So when I, um, when I want her off of the couch, I'm putting her on place. So we're just patterning this in where when I say off, she'll automatically go to her place, which I have nearby. Um, and this is something that you can do at your home. Um, if you want to have your dog on the couch sometimes so that you can, <clears throat> share some affection with them. Um, just make sure that it doesn't go too long. Make sure that you're inviting your dog up for that affection. And then when you're done, um, tell them off and put them on place so that they understand and they're, you're always patterning in and rehearsing and practicing the routine of what it is that you want for your, from your dog. If you always let your dog on the couch and there are no conditions or you know terms um, then you're always going to have a dog who has that entitlement and thinks, hey, I can get on the couch. And then there might come a time where you're like, you know, I don't want you on my couch. Like, I hurt my foot. I want to prop my foot up on the couch instead of having you up here. And your, do your dogs are going to be like, well, you know, why? Like, we've been doing this forever, so I'm just, I'm going to blow you off and keep getting on the couch. And then you have to deal with just, you know, making sure that you train the dog. So, um, if that happens, if that's you right now, let's go girl. Then you're just going to practice a drill like this where you invite your dog up. Let's go. Come on. Up. Let's go. Up. Come on girl. Yes. She's working on those climbing skills. That's a girl. All right. Good girl. Now I'm going to get her all nice and comfy and cozy and give her some affection. So if this is something that you want to work on, you basically just start. You get yourself a, a pet cot for place um, and automatically right like right now let's see if I can zoom in here and show you because she's starting to get mouthy with me so see here's out good I want her to keep those hands off of me and if she doesn't good girl out I'm give her a little e-collar communication at a level that makes her stop um, good girl that's better that's a good girl so out with her teeth so I'm just um, I'm enticing her now on purpose because I want to train that mouthiness out of her so right that's a good girl yeah that's a good girl okay so if this is something that you want to do with your dog if your dog is getting on the couch and you don't want that this is how you do it let's go off and you just pattern her by putting her on place. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. That's how we train dogs to do things. We just, you know, uh, we do it with consistency and we practice it until it becomes a habit. Um, and there, I want her on place to hang out and that's what she's gonna do for a while. All right guys, have a good one.